Okay, I'm kind of new to this EV thing, but I managed to get to Electrify America and I managed to kind of successfully use this charging station here. I did join uh, as a member of Electrify America, but it wouldn't take my member, so I had to log in as a guest. I don't know if it's something to do with my phone or whatever, who knows. But anyway, I managed to finally get it going. This is the high powered uh, charger that will allow you to charge fully uh, in under an hour for most cars. So I'm, I'm using the Kia Nero EV right now, 2023 Kia Nero. And thank God it's working because I, being new to the EVs, I had a little range anxiety uh, today. So I have to go from Austin, Texas to Dallas tomorrow. And you just never know. Anyway, it's working. It's exciting. <laughs> okay, but first let's take a look at this gorgeous thing. Notice it has the front plug, which is very handy. That's my wife saying, don't put me in your stupid video. Uh, pretty beautiful mint green color. I got a lot of comments on it, believe it or not. And uh, really good looking vehicle, nice stocky back end, uh, fits for very comfortably. And these Electrify America charging stations are pretty cool because they have that nice glowing green. And just look at the front end of that car. Uh, just gorgeous, kind of shocking almost, very super modern. And this is the charge indicator and readout. It tells you where you are. And you can also see the charging remaining time and kilowatts per hour inside on the dash also. Again, pretty nifty stuff from Kia. So my journey began from Austin. And before we left, we stopped at a local swimming hole called Barton Springs. I got Primo parking up front with a charger. So long as you're charging, you could park there. And then halfway, I had to stop for a charge at Electrify America in Waco. So this is the halfway point between Austin and Dallas. And here I topped up to 80%. And this is just another look at that really pretty green color and the practicality of loading the car. So, so far, halfway there, looking good. All right, I'm just charging my car right over there. And I'm walking to the nearest place to grab a coffee but as you can see I'm in Texas so there aren't many sidewalks around <laughs> so I just have to forge my own path but it's one of the disadvantages there aren't that many high-speed chargers in Texas unless you have a, a Tesla so if you have a Tesla you're in luck here they're everywhere but anything else you you got to really work for it <laughs> and that's indeed the case high-speed chargers aren't that common at least in the Dallas Austin area and here you can see the car, even though it's a midsize, looks tiny compared to most Texas SUVs on the road. Okay, this is my last charge on this trip. I'm at an EVgo station in Plano, Texas. And uh, again, one thing I've learned about this part of Texas, in between Austin, Waco, and Dallas, there's very few high-powered chargers unless you have a Tesla. So you really have to plan it. So I've been using Electrify America and EVgo. I like EVgo the most because you can start everything from the app and it has a nice display and it seems to be a little quicker than the Electrify America as well. So I'm enjoying that. So I'm still with my Kia Nero, as you can see here. I'll walk around to the front so you can see it. And it's just finishing up its charge right now. And then that should get me home in a straight shot from here to um, to Austin, one shot. Let's see how it goes. And in fact, I did not make it in one shot. I stopped again in Waco to top up because I knew I would arrive in Austin with only about 20 miles left to go. And we still wanted to drive around in the city. It's very hilly, so it uses a lot of power compared to a flatter uh, place. But all in all, a lot of lessons learned. I learned the differences between level one, level two, level three charging. If you don't know what those are and you're considering an EV, it's essential to know what those are. I learned about some of the quirks of having an electric car, but also some of the advantages, never having to stop at a gas station, which is pretty cool. But in general, I was extremely impressed uh, with this car. It's a 2023 uh, Kia Nero EV. And it was just wonderful to drive. A few complaints, this is a base model, so it did not have LED headlights, for example, but that was about it. Everything else is pretty premium inside, so I would recommend at least having a look at it. 
not very sporty to drive, but fun to drive. So, you know, kind of like uh, a car with good handling may not accelerate super quick, even in sport mode, but still fun to drive. But we made it. Yeah, Austin to Dallas and then Dallas back to Austin with no problems and no um, anxiety about the charge running out. So my first successful EV road trip. Thanks for watching. Bye.